Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial. Today, I'm going to guide you through the process of uploading SVGs directly from our shop to your Cricut Design Space. It's a straightforward process, but there are a few key steps to keep in mind. So let's dive right in. First things first, ensure you're on Etsy's homepage. Now, pay attention because this next part is important. It's crucial to download your files directly from Etsy's website in a browser, like Chrome or Safari, not in the Etsy app. The app does not support downloading at this time. So open up your preferred web browser, in my example I'm using Chrome, and navigate to Etsy.com. Once you're on Etsy's homepage, the next step is to access your purchases. This is where you'll find the files that you bought from us. Head over to your account. It's usually in the top right corner of the screen. Click on it and from the drop down menu, select purchases. In the purchases and reviews section, scroll down to find the order that contains the SVG file that you want to download. On the right hand side, you'll see a handy download button next to each of your purchased items. Click on that to go to the downloads page. Now that you're on the downloads page, let's talk about file formats. Most files from my shop will download in one of two ways, either as the individual file types as seen in this order or as a zip folder. If you see the file types listed out right there in your downloads, all you need to do is select the one that ends in SVG and download it. Head over to Cricut Design Space where you'll open a new canvas and select upload. You can either click to select the file type or you can drag and drop it in. Once you have the file on the canvas and it's sized the way you want, make sure to attach all of the elements together before letting the machine cut. If you don't attach everything, the files could end up being difficult to work with as you can see here. Attaching makes sure everything stays in place. Now, what if you're faced with a zip folder on Etsy instead of individual files? No need to panic. A zip folder is just a compressed file format that makes it easier to send and receive large files. It's like bundling multiple files into one, making downloads much more efficient. Etsy's system limits the number of files that I can upload at a time for you guys, so my more complex projects rely on zip folders once you download the zip folder, you need to unzip it before accessing the individual files. On most devices, it's as simple as right-clicking and selecting Open or Extract, but if you aren't sure what to do, you can find exact steps for your specific device on my instruction page. With the files unzipped, back to Cricut Design Space we go. Just like before, navigate to Uploads, drag the SVG file in, and voila! After uploading, you might notice that everything is grouped together. If you need to make tweaks to individual elements, just right-click and select Ungroup to give you the versatility that you need. If you're good to go with the files as is, hit Continue and watch the magic happen. Cricut will gracefully separate the colors into their respective mats, ready for whatever material you're cutting from. Now, before we wrap things up, a quick visit back to Etsy's download page. If you encounter any challenges, this is your go-to spot to shoot me a message. I'm always here to help troubleshoot and offer a helping hand. Thanks a bunch for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Happy crafting!